Hello, in this video, we are going to solve a nice equation 256 to the power of negative a is equal to a. So what is a? First of all, we would like to look at the range of a. So 256 to the power of negative a is always positive, so a is positive. Then we can make arrangements of the original equation. We have 1 over 256 to the power of a is equal to a. So right here, negative a. So we move to the denominator and as 256 to the power of a. Then we make arrangements. We have 1 over a is equal to 256 to the power of a. Then, so here it's power, it's a. So we want to get rid of a here, and then we can take the power of 1 over a for both sides. We have 1 over a to the power of 1 over a is equal to 256 to the power of a, and then to the power of 1 over a. So you see here a, 1 over a, and we can apply the rule a to the power of m, then to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of n, then to the power of m. So a times 1 over a, and this equation can go to 1 over a to the power of 1 over a is equal to 1, uh, 256. So then we can uh, factorize 256. We know that 256 is equal to 16 times 16, then 16 is equal to 4 square times 4 square. It is equal to 4 to the power of 4. With this idea, the equation can go to 1 over a to the power of 1 over, over a is equal to 4 to the power of 4. So we have 1 over a is equal to 4. Then a is equal to 1 over 4. So you may have a question here. Is 1 over a equal to 4 the only solution for this equation? So we're going to discuss this in the following. So the question is, is x is equal to 4 the only solution for x to the power of x equal to 4 to the power of 4? when x is positive. So we have this equation and we set up a function y is equal to x to the power of x. Then we apply the rule here. So we, we take the natural log for both sides. We have ln y is equal to ln x to the power of x. And then we apply the law ln a to the power of b is equal to b times ln a so here we can convert ln x to the power of x as x times ln x then we differentiate both sides so we have y prime so the derivative of y over y is equal to the derivative of this function ln x plus 1 then we have y prime is equal to y times ln x plus 1 so we take y you no know, y is equal to x to the power of x so y prime is equal to x to the power of x times ln x plus 1 so with this we let y prime is equal to 0 and we have this equation x to the power of x times ln x plus 1 is equal to 0. So when x, so here x is positive, so when x is positive, x to the power of x is positive. So the only solution for this equation is ln x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 1 over e. Then 
we have x is greater than 0 and less than 1 over e y prime is negative the function y decrease in this range when x greater than 1 over e y prime is positive y increase in this range so now we we got an idea about how the graph of y looks like so we can simply simply like this so here decrease so this is y and here x is equal to 1 over e so the question is what are the upper limits on both sides so let's look at limits when x is equal to when x is approaching 0 so what is the limit of y so this is equal to when x is equal to 0 the limit of x to the power of x because y is equal to x to the power of x then x to the power of x is equal to e to the power of x times ln x so you see here when x is e is approaching 0 so this term is equal to e to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so when x is approaching 0 y is the limit of y is 1 then when x is approaching so on this side x greater than 1 over e on this side when x is approaching positive infinity the limit of y is equal to when x is approaching positive infinity the limit of x to the power of x so you say x is approaching positive infinity x to the power of x is equal to positive infinity so with this idea we can make conclusions when x is greater than 0 is smaller than 1 over e y is equal to x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 4 so the original the, the, the equation here has has no root because the upper limit the upper limit is 1 so in this range f y has no intersection with the level of 4 to the power of 4 so there is no root in this range when x is greater than 1 over e y is equal to x to the power of x it's equal to 4 to the power of 4 has one root has one root because the upper limit in this range is positive infinity so in this range y has y intersection with the level of 4 to the power of 4 so that is x is equal to 4 also x so we set up the equation x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 4 so x is equal to 1 over a here so a is equal to 1 over 4 is the only solution for the original equation so additionally we would like to bring up the uh, graph of the uh, function y so here is the graph of function y y is equal to x to the power of x so you see here the Swiss line at the level 4 to the power of 4 has one intersection with the graph of y so the corresponding x is 4 corresponding x is 4 so if we zoom in this area we found that y decrease in this range and increase in this range so as we described so with that I would end this video thanks for watching I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.